Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, well, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture.
Bonus. This is him. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and. I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle, 
watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. to my goddamn time. Partner. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Oh. 
Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Cross up here. Come on. up here. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Hello. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs>
Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. jail apart he's gone he's gone uh, well we brought him in now pay us what's owed he ain't here now madam i don't get paid unless he makes it to san denis you want to get shot today as well as rob mister are you threatening me why would we bother threatening you get him back and i'll get your money and another fifty dollars besides a hundred dollars seventy five i can't go higher Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Hello, girl. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. 
If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Good girl. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
Just me. Son of a bitch. By all means, continue. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to. Mrs. Adler. Didn't know you was out here hat shopping. Stow him and we can go. It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Let's get out of here. You think you was a Come on. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to Santa Anita, hang. Hey? You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing.
Looks like. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Be safe, my girl.
Let up. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A little house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go. Yeah! I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Easy. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. We're good. Okay. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus. You mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there.
to the trees. Come on. Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Stay together. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. Stay with him. Up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder and take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. See much through this mist. Can you look? Oh, hold on. Oh, my God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on, oh, Charles. Oh. Behind you. Surprise is over! Oh, oh. Oh, 
Just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. There you go. Ready? Got him? Because here. 